good morning everybody today we'll discuss with the topic drugs acting on autonomic nervous system what is autonomic nervous system to know that we'll see a big picture of the nervous system nervous system is divided into two the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system central nervous system includes the brain and the spinal cord and the peripheral nervous system which includes the somatic nervous system and the autonomic nervous system somatic nervous system is mainly concerned with supplying the skeletal muscles or in other words it is voluntary in nature and the autonomic nervous system autonomic nervous system is mainly concerned with supplying the viscera or the or concerned with vegetative functions or in other words it is involuntary in nature the autonomic nervous system has two divisions that is the sympathetic and the parasympathetic system parasympathetic system is otherwise called as the craniosacral outflow craniosacral outflow it includes the nerves arising from the cranium that is the cranial nerves 2 7 9 and 10 and the nerves arising from the sacral segment of the spinal cord hence it is called as craniosacral outflow the parasympathetic system and the sympathetic nervous system is called thoracolumbar which includes the nerves arising from the first 12 thoracic segments and the three first two lumbar segments hence it is called as thoracolumbar now coming to the neurotransmitters involved in sympathetic and parasympathetic parasympathetic the neurotransmitter involved is acetylcholine in both the pre as well as the post synaptic ganglia the neurotransmitter involved is acetylcholine in parasympathetic system whereas in sympathetic system the pre ganglionic fibers have acetylcholine as a neurotransmitter and the post ganglionic fibers mainly have noradrenaline as a neurotransmitter and for a minor vessels minor nerves the nerve uh, neurotransmitter is acetylcholine what is the difference between the parasympathetic and the sympathetic nerves parasympathetic nerves the ganglia are located near to the affected organs whereas in the sympathetic the ganglia is located away from the affected organs or in other words the post ganglionic fibers are larger or longer in case of sympathetic nervous system now coming to the function parasympathetic nervous system is mainly associated with rest and digest whereas the sympathetic nervous system is mainly concerned with fight or flight reactions that is may allowing the body to uh, cope up in case of emergencies it is a balance between these two systems that maintain normal homeostasis in the body so what are the drugs acting on parasympathetic system the drugs which favor or facilitate the action of parasympathetic nervous system are called as cholinergics or the parasympathomimetics the agents which oppose the action of parasympathetic drugs are called as anticholinergic drugs and now we have the sympathetic system the agents which favor or facilitate the action of sympathetic nervous system are called as sympathomimetics or the adrenergic drugs sympathomimetics or the adrenergic drugs and the agents which oppose the action of the sympathetic nervous system are called as antiadrenergic drugs or the antagonist to the sympathetic nervous system Now we'll see in detail what are the agents or what are the cholinergics or the parasympathomimetic drugs. There are two groups of drugs in the cholinergics or the para parasympathomimetics. One is cholinergic agonist, which act on the same receptor where the acetylcholine act and facilitate or mimic the action of acetylcholine. The prototype drugs in the group are acetylcholine and pilocarpine. and the anticholinesterases what is anticholinesterase anticholinesterase inhibit the action of the cholinesterase enzyme what is cholinesterase enzyme it is a enzyme which break down acetylcholine into choline and acetic acid so once the action of this cholinesterase enzyme was broken down acetylcholine is available for action the agents the prototype drugs in this group are the reversible there are two types reversible and the irreversible ones reversible ones include physostigmin and neostigmin and the irreversible ones are organophosphates organophosphate is called as irreversible because once it binds with the uh, cholinesterase enzyme the bond form the covalent bond formed is permanent and it, it is not possible to reverse the action as a result the toxic effects produced by organophosphate poisoning is because of the excess action of acetylcholine now what are the anticholinergic drugs anticholinergic drugs are the drugs which oppose the action of the cholinergic agents in that we have three groups the natural drugs or the belladonna alkaloids prototype drugs are atropine and hyoscine 
Atropin is otherwise called as belladonna alkaloid because atropin is obtained from the plant Atropa belladonna. Hence, it is also called as belladonna alkaloids. Then we have the semi-synthetic agents. The prototype drug in the semi-synthetic group is ipratropium bromide and the synthetic derivatives which includes a midriatex that is cyclopentolate and tropicamide and the anti-secretory agents that is glycopyrrolate. Anti-secretory agent glycopyrrolate. Now, what are the adrenergic drugs? Adrenergic drugs come under four groups, mainly based on the action. We have the cardiac stimulants. Prototype drugs are adrenaline, dobutamine, nisoprenaline. We have the bronchodilators, salbutamol, salmeterol, the pressor agents, that is noradrenaline, and the nasal decongestants, oxymetazolin and silometazolin. The adrenergic drugs act mainly via two receptors, the beta receptors and the alpha receptors. Based on that, we have the beta-1, beta-2 receptor, alpha-1 and alpha-2 receptor. The beta-1 receptor is present in the heart. The agonist for the beta-1 receptor is dobutamine and the antagonist is metoprolol. We have the beta-2 receptors which is present in the vessels, in the bronchus, in the uterus and the action, the agonist for the beta-2 receptors are salbutamol and the antagonist is propranolol. We have the alpha receptors. Alpha receptors are mainly concerned with vasoconstriction. Alpha 1 receptors are present post-junctionally, whereas alpha 2 receptors are present both pre- and post-junctionally. The agonist for the alpha 1 receptor is phenylephrine and the antagonist is prasocin. Alpha 2 receptor, the agonist is clonidin and antagonist is eohimbin. Now we'll see what are the functions of parasympathetic and the sympathetic agents. You know, we have discussed that parasympathetic and the sympathetic actions are opposing each other. So, we will see what are the parasympathetic actions. It is the nervous system which is mainly concerned with rest and digest. So, the actions are in the heart, it decreases the heart rate. It causes bradycardia. Toxicity means it causes cardiac arrest. BP, it decreases BP. It causes blood vessels or action on the blood vessels it is it causes vasodilatation parasympathetic system it causes vasodilatation and since it is concerned with rest and digest the on the smooth muscles the action is it causes contraction of all the smooth muscles that means it facilitates peristalsis it causes uh, it enhances the uh, bowel evacuation it facilitates voiding of urine also causes bronchoconstriction and action on the glands, it increases the secretion of all the glands. I, it causes meiosis. Meiosis. The action of the sympathetic system is actually opposite to that caused by the parasympathetic system. That is, it is associated with fight or flight reaction and hence it causes increase in heart rate, increase in BP, vasoconstriction via the alpha receptors and vasodilatation via the beta receptors. And smooth muscles, it causes dilatation of the smooth muscles and it inhibits peristalsis, it inhibits voiding of urine, decreases the secretion of the glands, saliva secretion is decreased whereas sweat secretion is increased. That is what is happening in case of an emergency situation. I, it causes matriatex. So, uh, to conclude, autonomic nervous system is actually a balance between the parasympathetic which is maintained with rest and digest and the sympathetic nervous system which is mainly concerned with fight or flight reaction. It is the all the organs, all the visceral organs are innervated by both the sympathetic and the parasympathetic system. It is a homeostasis between these two that is uh, may, uh, allowing the maintenance of a normal internal environment. Thank you.